Today we're going to draw this picture of a Chinese freight boat called a junk. I think you're going to find it one of the most fascinating types of boat to draw. And I think you'll find it rather easy to draw, too. Now we'll start with the stern of the boat, high up here, and make a long rectangular shape. You know, that's just a square that's stretched out pretty long. It's about a fourth of the way in from the edge of the page and about a sixth of the way up. Then we're going to make the gunnels curve like this till about there at the bow of the ship. So let's draw from this corner, draw a sketchy curved line up to the bow. Now the stern has an interesting shape like this. It slants out and then it slants back in. So it's a six-sided shape, or a hexagonal. Now we want to show the underside here because this deck reaches out over the hull of the ship, indicated over on the other side, too. Now the bow, slant it back like this, get that ship setting in the water, make the front end line rise a little higher. Now we're going to skip up here and put in those big shapes of sails. And we'll start right above the center of the back of the boat and suggest where this mast goes. Draw a line across like that. Then a line slanted up, you know, it slants in a little. This one slants so that it's sort of wedge-shaped. Actually, this sail is seen in perspective as well as having that pointed shape to it. Now the second sail, we want to set in front of, that is, on the other side of this one. Now let's get the structure here on the sides built up. And as I remember, there's a large cabin form here. Now the next mast would run up very high. Just sketchily put it in. Put the bar across the bottom like that and it disappears behind this corner. But let's get that edge curving behind this sail so that this one stays out there in front of it. Make that slant way up. Then there's an angle, another angle, and then almost straight down. These shapes are pretty important to get in the first place because these shapes are what will give interest to your whole composition. Notice this is sort of almost horizontal. This is triangular and about like that. Now we're ready to put in the spars. I guess those are made of bamboo. Let's put in one on this sail. Set another one in at an angle like this. Let's darken this one and darken that one. Your middle sail, well, we can put one there. And we're going to keep slanting them more so that they're narrower and closer together back here and wider apart over at that other edge of the sail until they describe a very interesting pattern of lines going in perspective. Same with this one at the stern. And now with your black chalk, put in the shading on the underside of this deck and make it narrow as it goes forward. Block in, in shadow, the sides of these cube-like forms because we're going to have our light come from the left. There's a water line there or splash line, as we'd call it on our boats. And let's put this all in pretty dark shadow. Now we're ready to put some tone on these big sails. Take a piece of chalk on its side. Just block in boldly. But when you do, you might give a little curve to the edge of each of these sections Well, we'll fill it all in first before we go to the next one. 
First lock it in, then give a little curve, concave curve to the sections between the spars. Now you start getting a feeling of space between these sails when you cast a shadow with light coming from over at the left. This one would cast a shadow up there on that sail, something like that, and down across here, and just darken it in right over the tone that you put in before. Notice how it puts space between them. And you want to be sure to make these spars stick out a little bit beyond the edges of the sails. That big sail will cast a shadow across this small one and might just leave a little bit of light along that edge. So there we've blocked in the main composition of our picture, and it remains to put in a little detail and atmosphere to make it come alive. But first, I'd like to take a moment to show you something that I know will be of interest to everyone. Now back to our drawing of the Chinese freight boat, the junk. Let's use a straight edge of a pad or ruler to put in the tall mast like that. Another one here. And the one for the front sail goes in front of it. I forget what they have up there, but sometimes it looks like lanterns or decorations of some kind. Now we want to put in a little gray tone here and also cast a shadow across the back. There's a line that goes across here and uh, might tone a little bit below that. Over here in the background, we ought to indicate the far distant shore, actually the horizon with a little indication of some land. And on this side, we'll put in the base of a mountain, such as you'd find in one of these Chinese harbors, say, at Hong Kong. Leave a little white space between the gray tone of the mountain and the water, and darken it with your gray chalk. Just block it in as a mass, and then darken in the gray tone of the water like this, putting in a few streaks, reflections, and even uh, the suggestion of a few streaks of reflections out here. Might darken this edge, and even darken the water more, suggest a great big freight boat and hundreds, or a suggestion of hundreds of other small boats, and a city on the side of a hill. Over here, we'll indicate the typical taxi, water taxi, which is called a sampan. Some of these are covered with sort of an awning like this, and families live on them because the land is so crowded. Now to suggest a figure here, standing on a platform, big broad Chinese hat and a long pole for sculling the water taxi. Put railings on the ship, suggest people. A big rudder goes back here, give it a reflection. And when you have time, you can put in a suggestion of some clouds. Sometimes they get heavy overcasts and heavy rains. But they also have sunny, clear days. And these big uh, junks carry freight. Ducks, duck eggs, rice, tea and coffee to the big ships that cross the ocean. Let's put in a shower right back there. Well, that's about all we have time for on the drawing of our Chinese freight boat, the junk. 
And now, I'd like you to take another look at something that will interest all of you. <laughs> 